How do you feel when the first thing in the morning you run into some old sourpuss? Does it make your day? Of course it doesn't. Ruins your day because you'll see that sad-eyed mug all day long. And then you wonder what's wrong with this bird that makes him so gloomy anyway. Well, God has an answer for that as he does for anything else. In Isaiah, God tells us that the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace, saith my God, to the wicked. Isaiah 57, verses 20, 21. By the term wicked, God is not talking uh, just about those who murder or take his name in vain or commit adultery. God is talking about that person but he's also talking about the nice guy, but who is an, un an unbeliever. That is, that person has rejected his son, who has never been born again. He can hardly be known as morally b bad. He's a good man, but if he has not accepted Jesus as his savior, all wrapped up in himself, all devoid of any peace that is man termed wicked in this passage of scripture, because he's not right with God, he is self-centered, he's selfish as sin. Consequently, he's miserable, and it shows in his sour puss face. Someone has put it this way, if you want to be a sour puss, a miserable man, think about yourself, talk about yourself, use I as often as possible, mirror yourself continually in the opinion of others. Listen greedily to what God has to say about you. Expect to be appreciated and be suspicious. Be jealous and envious. Be sensitive to slights. Never forgive a criticism. Trust nobody but yourself. Insist on consideration and respect. Demand agreement with your own views on everything. And then sulk if people are not grateful to you for favor shown them. Never forget a service you've rendered. Shirk your duties if you can. Do as little as possible for others. Well, when we think only of ourselves and live only for ourselves, we'll be filled with ourself and our soul is like the troubled sea and there's nothing but mire and dirt in our camp. It is only when we come to the dear Lord and ask for forgiveness for our sin of selfishness that the miserly mind is, is turned to God and to others, and then peace comes. So God tells us in this passage, I have seen his ways and will heal him. I'll lead him also and restore him and give comforts unto him. Isaiah 57 verse 18. It's only as we get our eyes on Jesus and how we can help others that we can find peace at heart and rest for our soul. Then and only then do we shine as lights in this dark world. May God help us to keep our eyes on Jesus and help other people. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you make it possible for us to be a blessing and a help. Help us to do that beginning right today. In Jesus' name, amen.